In this video I'm going to show you how you can upload your caption file to your YouTube video. So this is the YouTube video and you need to get into your video manager. So up in the top right, which is where your account is, go to create a studio. And then video manager. And locate your video and this is the video that I want to add captions to so I'm going to click edit and then up in the top here select subtitles and CC now there are two ways that you can update your subtitles one is if you've just got a pure text file and the other is if you have a file in the SRT format if you just had a text file, it's just pure transcript. There are no times, it's just pure text. Uh, it's not in paragraphs, it's just a, a word by word verbatim transcript of your video. And when you upload that to YouTube, YouTube will put all the timing in for you. If you have the SRT file, that's a text file, so I need to open it in a text editor. An SRT file has had the actual timings put into it, so at 1.339 seconds up to 5.790 seconds, this is the text that will appear on the screen as a subtitle. And that's already been done, the work's been done for you. So if you've got an SRT file, you click Add New Subtitles, or CC, and you've got to select the language that your subtitles are in. And if these aren't the ones that you want, search for other languages. So if I was looking for German, for example, then I could pick the uh, German that I want. So whether it's Austrian German or Swiss German. Same with English. There's different Englishes. So United Kingdom, because I'm in Australia, I use United Kingdom English, but there are all flavours of English. So I want to add English United Kingdom. So I'm going to click that. And now I have three ways that I can add those subtitles. If I've already got a file, I'm going to click this one. If I wanted to transcribe and auto-sync as I watched it, then I would select the second one. And the third one, when you're actually doing it manually. You watch the video, you type the subtitle, and then you add it. So if you've got the file, you click Upload a File. And then the type of file you've got. So if it's a transcript, that was that first one, that's that verbatim text that's what you would type up if you have a subtitles file an SRT file then you select the second option find your file and open it and then upload this puts the actual timed file into your video before you publish it, you can check it and make sure that it's accurate. Make sure you never miss a thing by setting up your very own personalized notification center. You can take and in this case, the word center, this word here, really belongs in the, at the back at the end of the previous one. So I can click over here and enter it in there and delete it from the next one. So you can fine tune your captions once you've uploaded them, just to make sure that they sync perfectly. You can tailor all aspects of how your device gets messages to you. So this again in this needs to be in the next one. That needs to start here and remove from here. When you're happy, publish them. Uh, they're published and you can see the CC button is here so you can turn them on and off from there so I'm going to play them 
Make sure you never miss a turn the modern off. Setting up your very own personalised notification centre. You can tailor all aspects of how your device gets messaged. Now you can see the captions there. They're the English caption, the green but the, the green dot indicating this is what's published. If you want to edit them, just click it again and then you can add it, edit them from there. You've got some actions here so you can unpublish them, rename them. These are the other file formats of files that you can use to create them. When someone watches your video, the CC button will be available and you can they can turn them on and off. Make sure you never miss a thing. So these are off, now they're on. You know they're on because there's a red line underneath. The other way you can update your captions, go back to CC here to edit it. Click that and we'll unpublish. Upload a file. That's going to overwrite it. I know I'm going to just put in a transcript now. And put the transcript in. And upload that. And that puts in the text file for you. And now you have to set the timing. So the transcript means it's just a verbatim file. There are no timings. Nothing is synced. Now YouTube can do all that for you. Set timings. And YouTube will, will match the text to the video. And that can take a bit of time depending on how long your video is. Once it completes the timings, it syncs as does the SRT file. And you can see the original error there, that center is, is uh, in the wrong line and it should be up there. So we know it's worked. It is simpler if you have an SRT file because that timing has been done for you. But as you can see, if you just have a plain verbatim file, text file, it will still work too.